Well, hello, Great Southern Agent Manager Man here, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again, it's a very exciting day. Today I've received this package from the UK. This is from Blitzkrieg Miniatures. Uh, and I've been looking at their stuff for some time. Been quite impressed with the look of the Sculpt's 3D um, printed resin miniatures. But I haven't got any uh, up until now, because initially they were a bit on the large side. They were 32 millimeter mostly, and all my miniatures pretty much are 28 millimeters. So I was a bit put off they wouldn't have fit in very well with what I've got. So I, uh, yeah, I left it. But I recently discovered that they've actually downsized them all to be more compatible with most other ancient miniatures. So they're all 28 millimeter guys now. So I've gone ahead and ordered a fair few. Uh, paid for these all myself and uh, they turn out reasonably comparable pretty good price uh, around about two Australian dollars each approximately and the postage from the UK is always some um, pretty reasonable I find took about three weeks for these dudes to get here so let's have a look through so I've got a fair smattering of different guys there's some Seleucids some um, they're the Cretan archers I've got one Indian Ancient Indian, got some Thracian archers. Uh, these are the Hittites from Red Copper Design, but printed by Blitzkrieg, and uh, some Thracian Command. And then these dudes are actually the Aramean archers who looked very versatile. Let's start with them. I'll pull each bag out and we'll have a detailed look at them. So Aramean Archers, five fellas, and you'll notice they're all unique, which was a big bonus in my eyes. Oh, hang on, is he? Yep, no, he's different to him. Um, the other thing immediately obvious is that there are um, absolutely no assembly required. They're all set to go, which is pretty cool. Look really well cast, very sharp, and I don't see any kind of mould lines or... Oh, there's a tiny bit of plastic excess that might need cleaning off. It looks like they're going to need minimal preparation before you get into painting. And there's another tiny bit of extra plastic, I think, on there. Yeah. Certainly um, very detailed, beautiful looking figures. I'm impressed. Nice little round bases they come on, which will make them easy to stick onto another base or even just the little metal washers that I often use. Araman Archers. I like them. Very cool. Oh, just in terms of size, so I just did a video on the Eureka miniatures. Um, these were the Acadian Archers. So if you just have a look, height almost identical. Blitzkrieg guys a little bit more chunky, but very compatible with them. And a slightly another one. This is the Relic uh, Big Miniature, and it's um, it's a Cretan Archer, and he is almost exactly the same scale. So that's looking good. I like that. Next up, here we got Thracian. Commanders, these ones look so cool on the website. I had to get these. Uh, they're all also individual. There's a commander with a whole stack of heads on his, on his banner. Nice cloak, long hair, and tiny bits of plastic to sort of clean up, but otherwise negligible. I like him. This is a fantastic looking guy, with a beautiful helmet, maybe a ripped off a Roman's head. It's also crisp, beautifully crisp. Reminds me a bit of V&V &V miniatures, except v and need quite a bit of assembly, which is not a bad thing because it means you can customise them a bit. These guys need absolutely nothing, ready to go. 
Got a nice little hollow in his hand to hold a spear. Doesn't come with a spear though. Here's another cool commander. Now he's carrying a freshly extracted head. Illustration. I love him with a romphia over his shoulder. What a dude. He's going to present. So I do have some new line creations. Let's just get a look at them. So new line a little bit on the smaller side, but smaller than the Victrix scale. Height is yeah, tiny bit bigger than new line, and he's certainly a bit more solid, more well fed than the new line Thracian. Um, if you compare him with, go back to our big minis uh, relic Cretan Archer. He's the same height, a little bit stockier. So they're looking the goods while I'm on the Thracian. Let me grab the set of Thracian archers. There's six of these ones. A bit about the company, Blitzkrieg, as the name suggests, they start off as World War II, mostly vehicles. Um, and they produce a lot of them. They also have some um, World War II uh, human figures, uh, but then they've got this mighty empires range, which has quite a lot of uh, different empires and ever expanding. So they've got usual suspects, so the Gauls and the Romans and the Seleucids, um, the Thracians, Cretans, uh, who else have we got? The Indian, ancient Indians, quite a big range of them. Uh, and they're, they're still producing more. So they've got Tibetan Empire, there'll be a Middle Ages one on their site, but that's not um, available yet. But since I um, ordered these, the ancient Lydians have come up and they look fantastic. Next order, I'm just gonna, definitely gonna get some of them. Um, okay, but anyway, going back to the Thracian archers, beautiful. Those uh, tassels on the boots. Big flowing coat, um, coat there. Sort of Phrygian cap. This one just having shot his arrow out. Nice cape again. Cool. Similar. No cape on that guy. Tiny bit of plastic you see there to tidy off, but you know it's such a small amount of preparation. You can be painting these within minutes. Pulling them out of the packet. The only thing I'm not sure is whether you're supposed to uh, give them a clean with water and detergent. I, I have emailed um, uh, Blitzkrieg and when they get back to me with advice on that I will put a note on the video. This is Indian, ancient Indian king. And the horse. It's a nice horse. They actually would look better in real life than they do the digital images on the website, I think. So digital images kind of have a little bit of a blocky appearance. I was wondering if they would, the sculpts would show that, but they really don't. They're nice and smooth. Um, a bit of a chubby guy, which you'd expect from a well-fed fella. Dining out on chicken tikka every night. Buttered chicken every second night. <laughs> He looks brilliant. I uh, look forward to doing him. Who else have we got here? Oh, this. So I actually I'll leave them till last. Next. Oh, yes, the Cretan Archers. So if you've seen some of my videos, you'll know I've been in a search for the world's greatest 28mm Cretan Archers. I've done, I think, three videos on Cretan Archers already. Uh, and I did mention these guys, but at that point they were a bit too big. But now, so they've downsize them all to be 28 millimeter if you look at the uh, the relic guy again you can see they're almost exactly the same size which is fantastic news because i always thought these were some of the best looking cretin arches around and they're probably the ones i am most excited about painting up they're going to be so cool so uh, again you get five and they're all different Similar ones, they've got the headbands and they've got the little buckler shield and they've got a decent sword. So they've got all the characteristics of your classic Cretan archer. And you've got some with helmets as well, which is fabulous. 
Yeah, I might think I'll do them first. This one, having just loosed his arrow too. Nice. All right, next up are the, I just got a few of the Thurio Froy successor. Uh, saluted actually, they are designated as. Interestingly, one of these is a different color, I think. I think it's the same as him. Yeah, he is, but he's just different color. So perhaps they use a slightly different mix in their resins from time to time. Not quite sure what's going on there. Is the one, the white one, a tiny bit smaller? He is. Interesting. If it's deliberate or not. Hmm, might ask um, Blitzkrieg about that. So let's compare. Well, there's the, the third one. And it, again, they've got a big, nice hole for a spear, but no spear included. That's the only slight negative I would see in this entire series so far. They're superb looking figures. Um, Let's compare with a different um, similar guy. These are from Gripping Beast. So this white one is identical, I'd say, scale-wise. Whereas this grey one is a little bit bigger, a bit chunkier. Yeah, he's a, a he-man. <laughs> he's, a, he's a solid guy compared to... Your standard 28 millimeter, but he's just a little bit bigger, so you know they could just say he is a big, solid bloke in the army. He's not totally out of scale. And then the last batch are the Hittites. So these ones are red copper miniatures. So I think designed by a different company, but produced by Blitzkrieg, printed and sent out by Blitzkrieg, so I thought it'd be interesting to get at least one other, one group made by the Red Copper guys. He's a very dynamic figure, jumping up with his axe, smacking someone. A bit more plastic spruce, well not spruce stuff, but you know, uh, some of the 3D printing is stuck on the back of that axe, but again, that would be pretty quick and easy to remove. Nice guy, this one, nice uh, textured um, wicker sort of shield and some funky shoes with a little bit of a pointy end. I like that. I bought these guys because I thought they're pretty generic. You wouldn't have, don't have a lot of, um, Bronze Age stuff. Hittites haven't got any, uh, but you know you could use them for later cultural groups too. Maybe they could be the Cappadocians or something in my more classical antiquities collection. Or maybe I will delve into the Bronze Age because that's Acadian archers were from there and they are quite awesome. This guy's nice. And that guy's nice. So yeah, I'm very, very impressed with these ones. So the only detraction is few of the guys who shown you know as if they should have spears don't come with spears, but they're pretty easy to probably use those broomsticks types spears to um, put in with them and see how they go. So I'll get to work and to tidy some up to a bit of basing and show what they look like. Um, oh, a little bit about the company I should just say. So uh, they have three, employed, three employees, two full-time, one part-time. Uh, as I said, they are making more series, and I did ask them, they'd have a Palmyran series, and the most famous Palmyran I know was Queen Zenobia. They didn't do her, I just asked them whether they were planning to, and the answer was yes, they are going to expand all the ranges they've already got, and they're going to continue to add to them. So that's exciting that they're actively uh, working on new figures and new ranges all the time. Uh, and say so the Lydians that have just come out look excellent too. Um... Alright, that's enough for me for now. I will get to work. I'll see you soon.